What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Pups. And today, let's just talk about this. COD Infinite Warfare, the multiplayer, is going to have, was going to, I should say, bring back the concept of weapon variants into the multiplayer. Now, this is a topic of great debate amongst the COD community. The reason being because a large portion, probably over 50% of the people who played uh, Advanced Warfare did not like the idea of weapon variants because it made the game extremely unbalanced. And then it became this pay-to-play model because they were selling these advanced supply drops. Things that I don't take part in. These microtransaction bullshits. So they didn't have weapon variants in Black Ops 3. But what they did was, instead of releasing weapons with map packs, they forced you to basically either grind the game ridiculously amount of time to earn crypto, or hey, you can just buy COD points so you can buy these rare packages so you can hopefully get these weapons. Which hence unbalances the game. The majority of the updates and patches they do for these Call of Duty games, especially with Treyarch, it's not really, they fix, yeah, they fix the map exploits and a little graphical issues here, the weird things that happen that allow people to do some strange shit. Uh, but the majority of the work, honestly, behind the scenes is weapon balancing. Vaughn is known for weapon balancing. So it, it boggles the mind of why, why would Treyarch, have all these weapons added in behind a paywall, basically, right? So they don't come with the base game. And there are some of these weapons that are definitely more powerful than some of the game, some of the weapons that are already in the game. But they're behind a paywall, which makes it a pay to win. I don't think this is Vaughn's model anyway. There's a lot of rumors back when they dropped the first map pack and there was no weapons included that originally the way Treyarch had it set up, they were going to do weapons in the map packs, make the map packs a lot more valuable, which would have been smart because then more people would have bought the map packs at $15 a clip and everybody would not happy. Activision would have been making their money and there'd be more people willing to buy the map packs. There'd be more people playing the map packs, kind of like how it used to be on the older Call of Duties where everybody bought the damn map packs and it didn't affect the player base as much. But now it's a shit show. You buy a map pack, you're just cutting yourself off from a whole bunch of possibilities of playing people. So now you're playing a dwindled down. So you go from playing in the ocean, then when you get that first map pack, you go and play in the harbor. Okay? Actually, no, you get to play in the bay. You get to play in the bay. And then you buy that second DLC, now you're in the harbor. Okay? Then you go get that third DLC, and you're like three feet from the dock. You go get that fourth DLC, shit, you're on dry land. And that's basically how it is with the DLC breaking apart. It's, anyway, but listen, it's not what I'm here. I'm not talking about the DLC. I'm talking about weapon variants. But so I think Treyarch had a game plan. Their game plan was to put these weapons in the map packs and make the map packs more valuable, hence not breaking up the community, the player base as much. But Activision is greedy as shit. Now, I understand that they're a business. They're a business. Their end goal is not to make you happy. It's not to make Treyarch happy. It's for them to make their investors happy. The bottom line is profit. Where do they get that money from? Us. Okay? And they got to drain it out of us. If they're not making quality games that we enjoy and we're willing to play all year round, right? And to so be so amped for the next one, the next Call of Duty that comes out, they realized that years ago that that ship sailed, that that hype train sailed when their quality of games dipped. They stopped investing in the quality of their games. They stopped. They have not had an engine, new engine. They're using the same cruddy ass engine. It's 2016, people. It's 2016. It's almost 2017. So Activision has to rely on these other business models to make money. Well. They struck gold with this microtransaction bullshit, not only in Call of Duty, but their other games that them and Blizzard have. So they're going to wring every single person 
dry of whatever money they're willing to spend and invest in this game. Fortunately for them, there's a lot of people or a good pocket of people that don't give a shit. They don't care. They're just going to spend what they, they don't care. They're going to be like these, these bullshit biblical reaper dudes who are trying to launch a YouTube career. And they're going to blow thousands and thousands of dollars on crypto just so they can make videos about the items they got in hopes that they make the money back on the back end through YouTube, through views. They're selling dreams to people like that. You know what I mean? Like, you think about that, but whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's a business model. Okay. Get, you understand that Activision's a business. They got to do what they got to do. Treyarch's trying to make a good-ass game. So there's definitely a clash of heads there. Okay? Black Ops 3 is a great game. I think that is the one downside, besides the stupid netcode still being so shitty, and the excessive lag comp that's given to people with high, really high pings. The bad part is the whole pay to win, pay to play, bullshit aspect that they forced on us in Black Ops 3. But to make it worse, somehow Activision thought, wow, you know, it's a genius idea. We got to keep this gravy train going. And let's be honest, we don't give a shit about the players. We don't give a shit about listening to what they want and don't want. We're going to tell them what they want. So the fact that they shovel shit like esports down your throat when the overwhelming majority, overwhelming majority of the people that buy Call of Duty and play Call of Duty every year want nothing to do with the esports community. I love esports. But I got to tell you, I'm so turned off to the COD esports community in the last couple of years. Since you know, since Black Ops, Black Ops Two was great. After that, it kind of just you know, it's just it's a no go for me. Like it's so stupid that that the way that they got into this and they're trying to support it because it just doesn't work for Call of Duty like it works for other games. This is not Counter Strike. This is not League of Legends. This is different. COD players are different. Community is different. But let's go back to Activision doesn't give a shit about us. Activision only cares about money. They want that bottom line. They want that profit. And that's shown the fact that they're putting variants back in their new game coming out when the majority of the community does not want variants. Variants were seen as a bad thing for the majority of the community in Advanced Warfare. So we're sitting there looking at it going, wait a second. You want to put this pay to pay to win model already in a game that's not even coming out. And then you're trying to sell us on the idea that, oh, if you want the nuke, you have to do this, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, what? Wait, what? You want? Wait, I already got to spend at least 80 to get both games coming out. A game that I already paid for multiple times. But I really want to play. COD 4 Remastered because that's looking at me like that's the shit I really want to play but then you're telling me that even if I grind the shit out of Infinite Warfare which I won't know if I want to or not until I play the beta and there's no guarantee that the beta and the actual release of the game will be similar at all, at all because we found out in Black Ops 3 it was kind of different but I already know now that there's going to be a pay to win system in place to me, that's just kind of like, wow, you really making me go into that beta that I was hyped up for once I found out there was going to be a beta. Now I'm sitting there scratching my head going, maybe I just don't play it all anymore. Maybe I just give up. Maybe I'm done with Call of Duty. I want to I wanna play that COD 4 Remastered, but damn, now I, gotta, I definitely got to drop 80 to play a game I already own multiple times because I'm looking at, at, at Infinite Warfare like, I ain't going to grind the game. For no bullshit. And I'm not paying extra on hopes of getting these variants. And now I know the game's gonna be unbalanced. It's it's one of those things where you sit here and go, man, I went from not having any hope in the game to having a lot of hope in the game to them cutting that hope in half. Good job, Activision. Bravo to you. Good job. Way to get the community back on your side with announcing a beta. 
and then boom, punching him right in the gut. Just leaking out. Oh, yeah, you want this? Oh, it's going to be, yeah. Well, like said, don't worry, you can grind the game or you can buy supply drops and get it all. Take a chance. Take a chance, people. Yeah, that's not gambling. Anyway, I rambled on enough. I'm your boy, Pubs. Variants are going to hurt Infinite Warfare. I was so psyched for this game. Now I'm kind of like, ah, uh, let me play the beta. Let me see how the beta plays. I do want to play COD 4 Remastered. I like what I'm hearing about COD 4 Remastered. I like the fact that they're going to support this game. I like that they listen to the community. I like the fact that they people complained about the icons, complained about the sounds, and then changing it back to what it was originally. I love that. Maybe that will bring back the nostalgia for me in Call of Duty. But will the community be there? Where will the community be? Will it be a 50% split? Will it be one or the other? If there is more people playing COD 4, you're going to see a change in Call of Duty moving forward. Anyway, this will not be the last remastered COD. You know Modern Warfare 2 is coming. Modern Warfare 3 will probably come. And I'm going to say Black Ops 2 will be remastered. Anyway, I'm your boy Pubs. Until next time, peace.